to the Roots, a classic of magic. Um, this is one of my favorite to perform, and uh, people seem to like it, so I keep doing it. Um, it uses um, a few simple props. It uses a glass <coughs> and a bottle. Right? It's uh, the world-famous glass and bottle routine, one of the great mysteries of magic. No one knows why it's called a glass and bottle routine. I'm lying, it's because there's a glass and bottle. Um, the idea is quite simple. You have these yellow tubes and you try to you put them over the thing so you can't touch them. Because you can't just switch them with your hand, that'd be cheating. Um, so again, like one goes over the glass just like that, and one goes over the bottle. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Close your eyes. <laughs> All right, fine. You can open. No one closed their eyes. <laughs> Alright, uh, I should explain, sometimes when you're working with breakables like, uh, like glasses and bottles, you often have extras uh, hanging around backstage, okay. and sometimes when, uh, when you're in kind of a time crunch, uh, the crew will, will mix up, and, and two people will actually try to set the same prop, and uh, we'll move on. It's, uh, it's fine, we'll move on. Uh, just, just forget about that, it's, it's invisible. Just forget about it. Um, anyway, so we'll, we'll continue. We have, we have here a, a glass here and a bottle here. The idea is to make them switch places just with a snap of the finger, just like that. So now the glass is... It's over here. <laughs> and the bottle's over here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the difficult part, though. The difficult part's making them switch back just like that. The glass is over there and the bottle's over there! show them the first time that they really do switch places. <laughs> and they really do switch back. It's pretty good. All you have to remember is tin number one always goes over the bottle. Tin number two. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Too many bottles. Too many bottles. Tin number two goes over the glass. The glass becomes the bottle. The bottle does become the glass. Okay, you guys didn't catch it. The first time, you put it one over the bottle. And then the second one, you put, oh, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, many bottles. <laughs> but they really do switch places. It's pretty good. I bet you guys are wondering, can this guy do just one hand? Yes, I can. <laughs> Let me show you. You do it like this. It does turn in the bottle, and then this one does turn into a glass. And yes, he can do it left-handed. Just like that, he does, he switches it with his left hand, and it does turn into a glass. Of course, if you're going to do it like that, you need at least one extra bottle. And because we're on a Jesuit campus, <laughs> I bet you guys are wondering, is this guy using more than one bottle? <laughs> no, I'm not. Here, I'll prove it just by uh, using this little yellow hanky and we'll actually mark the bottle so you know it really is the same bottle switching places. We tie it on just like that. And it really is the same bottle switching places. And it really is the same bottle switching back. <laughs> of course, if you're going to perform it like that, you need at least two extra bottles. Thank you. Yeah.